So let's get into this LMA album. LMA, um, R&B singer from London. Um, I love her accent when she talks, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just sounds so good. You can listen to her talk all day. Um, but she dropped a new album, Heart On My Sleeve. Um, she recorded it during the, during the pandemic. And, um, you know, she's she's an artist that when you hear her music, man, if you love R&B, you know, she, she has that sound, that classic R&B sound that we all grew up on you know if you if you like me back in the day listening to Anita Baker Luther Vandross you know uh Freddie Jackson you know what I'm saying uh Patti LaBelle you know I can go with Whitney Houston if you you know you you grew up on that man Ella May represents that classic sound of just good music great music in R&B um her voice the way she sings Everything about her, man, I just absolutely love, man. Um, so this album is 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 just a, a a full representation of the great body of work that she's able to put together every time she comes out. Um, it starts off with a song called "Trying," and from a man's perspective, I really uh, felt like this was a really dope song and her approach with it, where she's basically saying that she knows she's hard to deal with but she's recognizing the fact that her significant other is putting forth the effort to try and and, and make you know be make the best effort and be the best the best man he can be towards her and you know i just thought that was dope and the fact that you know she she wrote it so well and and arranged it and put it together so well um was absolutely just even more so amazing um and then the album just continues to go on to tell the story. And it's and it's bold, it's transparent. You know, the album is called Heart on My Sleeve. So she's really, um, you know, just really being transparent and honest and letting you in, you know, in her heart. You know, like she's letting you in on, in on her heart. And like I say, Heart on My Sleeve. She's really giving that perspective to you on this album. Um, one of my favorites, though, uh, is fallen angel where she has a surprise uh feature on there at the end of the song that i wasn't even expecting and the song just takes this amazing unique turn and uh i'm not even gonna tell y'all who the feature is i want you to go listen to the album so you can be just as just as surprised as i was when i uh heard it you know but um she got you know um, some other features on there like roddy rich and um and uh lotto lotto was on there she made a dope appearance on there um but overall the album is 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 phenomenal um like i say she has some ballads on there where she just killing it she got a song on there called don't f me up and um it's it's her just really going in and 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 being transparent once again to her significant other from a perspective of don't do me wrong you know here i am you know making the decision to be in a relationship with you, please don't do me wrong, you know? And uh, she got another song on there called Break My Heart, where she's saying that, you know, the the guy that she's choosing to be with, she's saying that if, if my heart is going to be broken, I would rather have it, I, I'm going to put myself at risk to get it broken by you, you know? It's just so much that she's unpacking on this album that I feel like is stuff that a lot of us may be thinking in relationships. She really just put in 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 in, in her songs on this album and, and and did it so well, man. So please go check out the LMA album, Heart on My Sleeve. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Regardless, you know, if you are if you're an LMA fan or not, if you was a fan of Booed Up and Tripping and those records, man, she she really still giving you that same energy of those great records. And um and I'm sure at the end of the day, ultimately, you're going to love this album as I do. Um, so go check it out, man. And shout out to Sherry Warren from Universal Music Group that sent this over to me for me to be able to check out. And. Uh...